Many people have asked us how they can project their LabQuest screen onto the wall so the entire classroom can see it. So we've come up with a way for you to do that using some computer software called the LabQuest emulator. The way it works is that your LabQuest is connected to the computer through the regular LabQuest USB cable. And then the computer is attached to the projector so it can be projected onto the wall using the standard projector cable. This way everyone can see the image of the LabQuest on the screen. So the LabQuest emulator software itself actually lives on the computer, and I'll launch it now. Okay, so the software's been launched. We'll scoot it up here. So you'll see that the LabQuest unit itself has the computer connection screen now, and the computer emulator software is showing the live screen of the LabQuest. You're gonna do all your control here from the computer with your mouse. And so right now I have a temperature probe connected to the actual LabQuest. I'm going to uh, go to the computer and tap on the collect button and it starts collecting data. Put my hand on the temperature probe and you can see the temperature start to rise. So it works exactly like the LabQuest unit itself but it is software running on the computer. Okay, so I'll stop that. There's our data. Uh, you can do any of the same things you would normally do with your LabQuest but it is through the emulator software and being displayed on the wall. If you happen to have an interactive whiteboard, this is really nice because then you can go up to the front of the classroom and tap on the board itself. So here if I tap on the data table, I'm showing the actual data. Go back to the graph or over to the meter. And you're right here so that you can be talking to the students and telling them about what you're doing at the same time. Uh, there's some analysis that you can do here under Analyze on the graph screen. Quite a few different things you can do. Let's look at the statistics of this data. So if I choose statistics and temperature, you can see here it gives me the statistics of minimum of 26.9 degrees, maximum 30.6 degrees, the mean or average standard deviation, and the total number of samples. I could also turn that off and do a tangent. So you can see wherever I tap my finger, there's an instantaneous slope or tangent line and it gives me that slope right here. So there are quite a few different analysis things that you can do with the LabQuest emulator or the LabQuest software. So the emulator software is very nice to have. It actually is free. It comes with your LabQuest on the CD that ships or you can download it free off of our website. Mm -hmm.